Heads up! Today's episode is most likely going to be exceedingly boring, but welcome back. I have figured out some things I want to test out, some science to be done in regards to farming and soul stuff, the economy of Rack and Ruin. I have a couple things I want to try out, so that's why I am not where I left off and I have way more souls, because we're actually in the old save file, the, the normal mode save file. And yeah, as I said, I have like a lot of stuff I want to test, and we're probably going to do a lot of like grinding for souls because I'm curious about something. So instead of just like doing all this off camera and then showing you the showing you the results, there's a lot of stuff to test, so I figured I might as well just show it, but it might get really tedious, so so just to let you know. But this is actually good that we're right here. I wasn't sure where I last left off the normal run, but so First off, one thing I noticed was that the reason I picked up health potions and I got 300 souls instead of 200 is because I got the... Oh, sorry, I probably... I'm not going to be able to edit that out, but I just hit the microphone, so that probably makes the sound. I got the... I have the Vampiric Ring, which... The Vampiric Ring, which says, May you forever drown in a sea of greed and self-indulgence, which I guess sort of makes sense actually increases the amount of souls that you get. And since I got 200 souls from a potion and then 300, I will assume that it's a 50% increase yeah, increase in souls from anything you pick up. So here's where I want... God, I keep hitting my microphone. I keep, like, gesticulating whenever I do these. Like, I keep moving my hands and stuff, and there's no point because you can't see or hear or anything. So... I don't even know why I do it, but if my theory is right, I would like to test for one thing. Having these maxed out, I believe these are maxed out. Oh, right, it's not E. I'm so used to playing, like, I've been playing Sven Co-op, which is, uh, oh, interesting. If you press like this, you don't actually get the, the powers. I didn't know that. But I've been playing some Sven Co-op because it just got released on Steam. Like, it's been... It's a mod that's been out for like 12 years, and me and a friend have been playing it a lot, but now because it's on Steam and it's a new version, we've been like sort of getting back into it, and it's kind of fun. But I'm used to pressing E for interact and not right click. And yeah, we have eight of these, so I'm gonna test many things. So first off, let's head to... Oh, shit. Can I even find any phoenixes anywhere? Do phoenixes exist in the dark world? Oh man, this might be a problem. I don't remember, and since I'm not gonna save the save data, I might as well just use all the fucking items and stuff and be as wasteful as I can. Yeah, there are no phoenixes. Damn. Can you get phoenix feathers anywhere else? I really don't remember at all. Shit. Wait. Did I... Shit, did I just get souls? Like... Damn it. I just want to confirm that you get 50% extra souls from anything? Okay, eyeballs. I have eyeballs. Alright, this should work. Let's get the souls and wait for them to disappear. Not that I need to, but still. Now I pick up the eyeball. That's 45. So that would be 30. If I go and I try to buy an eyeball, it should cost 30. Right? Maybe? No. Damn. You don't get more. Um... Oh, right! So you got 200 for a potion, but the potion's normal price is 300. So that's 66%. So then... But then... That wouldn't work because 66% of this would be 80. So if I got 80 souls... Huh. Yeah, that doesn't quite add up. Maybe it's different based on the different items? I'm not too sure. Let's just check the, uh, the shaman. How much they cost at him. Damn, I... Hmm. I had this whole thing planned out. 
80. And I got, what was it, 45? Huh. I really wanted to try with a, a Phoenix Feather, but I guess not. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to test out, which in that case might not work, but we'll see. The price of one of these is like 6,000 at Baba Yaga, but if you sell them, I can't click, they're only one. So I'm not sure this is going to work, but my theory is if these have an upper limit, so let's buy as many as I can. Wait, 70. Oh, yeah, they do. 20. So they have an upper limit. That's why I'm in the normal mode thing. In that case, I don't even need to be in the normal mode, right? Wait, no, I actually do. Wait, no. Do I? 5,000 times 20. That's 100,000, right? Math. God, I think so. So we're we're very close in the other run as well. So in that case, I am going to do this in the hard mode just in case it actually works because then I can actually make use of it. So let's throw away the normal mode run and go back here. I just wanted to have a bit of a, a head start on souls because I wasn't, wasn't sure if maybe you needed to get like 40 of them and then it would have been faster to do in the normal mode thing. But so now... If I get 20 of them, this is what I'm wondering. This should be... I keep pressing E again. Man, it should be possible to... Yeah, I have to buy 19. I could sell something, I guess. Let's sell, like... A heart? Uh... I mean, I can't... If this works out, I can actually just buy more of whatever I want. So, yeah, let's do that. One of those and... Like, two of those. Oh, actually, I, I have enough. Okay, so now I buy one more of those, but I actually need one more. Yeah, so I have to sell something else. I guess I'll sell one more heart. Whatever, that's fine. I have a backup if everything craps out. Sell one of those. Sell... Oh, what? Wait, how does this work? Am I getting more than 3,000 3, souls? What the hell is happening? I swear I didn't have that much. Did I? Wait, so if I sell like this, 140. Wait, 140. So that should be 980. Yeah, I'm getting more souls. Huh. So I guess you get 50% extra souls when you sell stuff as well. But it's an, it's uh, pointless for this one. Because you don't actually get that. You only get one. But what I wanted to test is if I just go and I drop one of these right there. Because you can do that. You, this is the only item you can actually drop on the ground. And then I buy another one. And then we pick one up. What's going to happen? Am I going to get one soul? Or am I going to get, hopefully, 9,000 souls? Because that's 50% more than 6,000, which is the initial price. I don't know. Please, come on. Oh. Well, that's underwhelming. 1,500. Too bad. So in that case, you can't do this. Because I thought if... You actually got the full price when you picked an item up and extra from the Vampiric Ring. Then I could just spam down a bunch of them, buy more, so I had max, then pick them all up and get much more than if we go and sell them all to the guy over here. Actually, I should go here. See, I guess I'll just do this one time. I actually wanted to... In that case, I guess it doesn't really matter. Again, I wanted to get enough souls to buy one or to max out all the items completely and still have like plenty left to go around because I figured if you actually get more souls than the items are worth which you do for potions I'm not sure why you do for potions compared to other stuff I mean I guess you kind of don't it's just because you can buy potions cheaper at the uh the dude the the Dracula guy 
Yeah, it's a very strange thing. I guess potions are exclusive in that sense. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. But I can still do this, and you still do gain 1,000 souls per time, but it's not, like, as good as it could have been. But still, that's, like, an extra 25,000 or whatever since I started just from that. So, I'm gonna do that one more time, just to get a few more souls. Oh right, I can't even do that. So I, I'll buy as many as I can. Oh, so yeah, it doesn't exponentially get better, because you actually get limited. You can only make... How much is that? Per trip, you can only make... Uh... That's... 20,000? I think? Right? I don't even know. But, so I can, I can just buy all of these, and that, and we'll see if I have enough souls, otherwise I'll just get more. Yeah, this is gonna cost a lot. Holy crap. Why do I have so few of all of these? Man. Well, yeah, I'm gonna buy everything. Because this is the experiment. And yeah, can't even do it anymore. So now I need to do another trip. But yeah, I kind of just want to do this because then I don't have to worry about... Can I go up here? I would like to find a route here. I'm just going to test this. But yeah, it doesn't really matter anymore. I wanted to, like, make sure I always got the most souls I possibly could. Because if, if you could always pick up items that you had maxed out and get more than they were worth, I could have, like... You know, I could have had everything maxed out, and then whenever I use it, I can just buy more. And where the hell am I? Can I get back from here? Um... I don't quite remember. Ow, I'm stuck! I don't really remember how to... What the hell? What's up with this place? How do you... Where do you fucking find anything here? What is in here? Is this the right path? It might be. No? Okay, fuck this. Let's go the, the other way. But yeah, again, kind of pointless now. Too bad. I, I was hoping that this would be, like, another massive exploit where you could max out everything and as, as long as you had the Vampiric Ring, you would just be gaining more souls for having everything maxed out. Which would have been kind of interesting. And again, if I could drop all the rotten thingies and just get more money because of it, that would have been fun too. No such luck. Whoops. Still though, I guess this is mostly what we're gonna do this episode. Hi, have your nom noms. Yep, 120,000 every time. So I can buy 20 more, and then... Well, I should make sure I should start buying stuff. So I'll buy stuff. I probably need to do it, like, one more time. Because if I do this, I buy three. Yeah, this is gonna be really expensive. Yep, definitely need to do it more. Sure, let's just do it. Why not? Oh, and I guess I can use these. I forgot. Just to make it a little bit quicker. Oh, man, so much switching, but this is probably the, the fastest... Ow, oh, goddammit. Stupid pits. This is probably the fastest way to... That is just bullshit. I couldn't even move. I couldn't do anything. Jesus. Hi again. Don't you ever get full? I guess not. Yeah, probably gonna need even more. Probably gonna need even more. Let's just do it a couple times. 
I can buy one of these. I, how many of these can you have? Only eight. Okay, good. And these I can max out. Prismatic totems. Don't want to exceed... Oh, really? Only 20. Okay. And eight of those? That That's fine. I can do that. But not these. I need one more for these, and then I probably need more for the dust and the hearts. But that's fine. Let's do this. I keep forgetting where to teleport. Ah, damn it. I'm trying to multitask and, like, select things as I'm moving, but it's actually kind of hard. Especially when you're trying to avoid pitfalls. So basically, if you want to do this duplication glitch, or it's not even a duplication glitch, but, you know, the... The exploit, you just have to make sure to have over 100,000 souls, and then you can do it as effectively as, as possible, pretty much. Having more souls wouldn't really do anything. But yeah, I can buy that, and then I'm just gonna buy one more set. And then we're gonna go to Baba Yaga and just quickly calculate how much I actually need for the hearts and the, the dust. Yeah, it's only those. Everything else is maxed out. So hearts are... Ooh, that's expensive. And I bet I can have, like, five of them or something, or four. Hmm. Wisp dust. Also pretty expensive. Alright. Okay, so at this point, I don't really have anything else to say left. And there's not that much time left in the episode. So I'm just gonna run this... A couple times and speed it up as per usual and I'll try to max out my inventory just for fun again this is extremely pointless because I I meant to have it was meant to have more of a point with a like increased soul efficiency and stuff and breaking the economy and whatnot but that didn't happen that's not at all what this does but still the completionist inside me wants to do this, so I'm going to do it. Alright, let's just buy some stuff. See if I have enough. I might not. Ooh, that's a lot of hearts. But you can have eight. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need more for this, I think. Yep, I do. Probably up to 20, I would imagine. So, how much do I need? Uh, well, I guess I can just buy all these. So, eight more for, like, almost 4,000. 32,000? Or roundabout? A bit less? All right, let's see. Eight. Yes. Hooray. My inventory is... Wait, hold on. My inventory is complete. Yay. I have everything. Everything maxed out. Just for fun. Because why not? Yay. So that's cool. Now I don't have to have any reservations whatsoever about 
using anything as much as I want. Man, look at that. That actually does look pretty cool, I have to say. It's all worth it. So now, not... I, I'm probably gonna just end it, but I did have an idea for something to check out. Because we never did this, actually. I just want to find out what happens if you go back to the wave spawner. We never went there after actually completing it both times, so... I, I'm just gonna go there, see if it, like, restarts, if that's, like, a way to, uh... You know, like, farm souls or whatever, or if it's just completely empty by now. Again, just curious. We'll see. I wonder if that's a, a good thing to do, actually. Like, interchangeably block and attack? It's kind of hard to actually do well... But that might be, like, the best way to to deal with everything. There we go. Guess I'll kill this guy as well. Alright, let's just see. Because I can always just teleport out if it starts again and I don't want to do it. Well, these are back. Yep. Yep, it all just starts again. Huh. You know, I'm kind of curious what actually happens if you beat this again in that case. Um... Like, will you get anything? Probably not. It probably will just, you know, make the poofing thing, but then you actually don't get anything. But that is kind of interesting. I might just leave it here for now, but we might actually do that la last time, next time. Just because I'm curious. I mean, at best, the only thing you would get is more souls. Like, get those boxes of souls to spawn again. But... You never know, maybe the chest actually appears, it won't, but you know, it could if he overlooked that in programming and just you get another chest with another health power up which doesn't make any sense and breaks the game and the world implodes. I don't know, we'll probably try it just for fun, maybe I'll even speed it up or something because it does take quite a long time. Actually, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm gonna do this like Next time in the future, I'm actually going to do it right now, because I'm going to record more. So, I guess I'll do that. Sure. And then we'll actually go into the final dungeon and actually do stuff to further our progress in this game and almost getting to completion. Like I said I would do last time, but didn't. So there you have it. Great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Pointless as it was. And I'll see you next time for more pointlessness but maybe some progression. Bye-bye!